You see lots of memes and lots of Pinterest sunset quotes all about forgiveness. But people don't really tell you how to forgive. Or what forgiveness really is to you, the person, the person that, was, that in effect, when you forgive somebody, you're receiving. And what is it that you're receiving? How do you know when you've forgiven somebody? And this is just my personal take based on my own experience. And they often say, like, you know, when you're angry with somebody, when it's you that's poisoning yourself, and there's lots of these quotes, you know, you should forgive people because when you forgive, you let go, you're not feeling something. But here's the thing about forgiveness. On one hand, forgiveness is a choice. But normally when you have to forgive somebody, it hurts. It's how do you let go of the pain? Because mentally, we can often forgive people. Mentally, we can often already be in that good place. And then something happens it. Happens it? Something happens. An old memory pops up. It's an old song. You bump into them. You see pictures of that person. Or you understand they're with friends or they're back in town. Or whatever that might be. And something triggers. You feel something inside. And so the art of forgiveness, what you're really seeking is being comfortable again being comfortable with the experience of that person in the future. It's understanding that when something, you feel something like a nostalgia and it now hurts and it cramps, it's understanding where that came from. It's understanding why that hurt, why you feel uncomfortable. And the greater understanding of that as you move forward in time that's when forgiveness happens. It's when you understand the control that it took, the control it takes. It's when you understand what that person did to you is why you feel this way. And another way to understand that principle, you can have a really deep cut, you know, and there's a cliche, isn't there? Wounds don't heal, scars show you your wounds. But anybody who's ever sliced themselves open, who's ever cut themselves deeply and required stitches, there's always a scar, no matter how well it heals. There's always something that reminds you. But you're no longer carrying the pain. That wound is healed. You don't have stitches anymore. It's not bandaged anymore. There's no scab anymore. It doesn't ache when you touch it. You're not trying to avoid anything. You know, when a few years ago I sliced my leg open, the front of my right leg open down to the bone, I had number 10 stitches. And it was probably a good six weeks, maybe eight weeks, because it was deep. It was, on, it was on the top, so I was really lucky. It went just to the side. But it was deep. But it was about eight weeks before I could feel comfortable on it. You know, like not worry about it. And even after the stitches came out after about ten days, which at the time I remember thinking, no, I don't think they're ready to come out. And I'd start doing something, you know, because I'd gotten used to it. And you'd, I'd feel little tears. We obviously hadn't healed properly. And it was literally still a bit raw. Now, attach that to an emotion. It's the same thing. During that healing process, there's going to be times where it's still a little bit raw. And when something reminds you that you're not fully healed, it's going to tear it open a little bit. And you can get caught up in that, shit, why isn't... Why isn't this fixed? Why is this still affecting me? And if you're someone that cares deeply, it's going to be harder for you. 
But true forgiveness comes when you understand why you hurt. When, when you understand what it was that made you feel that way, and the power that they had, and it's no longer there. So you can acknowledge it and say, oh yeah, yeah that hurts because of X, Y or Z, that hurts because that song meant something, that hurts because that place we used to eat, that sunset we watched, that film we loved, and that maybe that's why you can't. You can't watch a film again or listen to a song again. Just like I have no desire to cut my leg open again. But now I'm all healed from it. I don't worry about it. I don't think it's dangerous. But I wouldn't voluntarily do it again. Because I remember how much it hurt. How inconvenient was the pain. And that's that place you're in. And forgiveness isn't about forgiving them. It's about allowing yourself to forgive yourself to understand that you're not in danger anymore. So you're no longer carrying an open wound. It's all about you.